Come out. Come out. I'll bust you up. No, you, you don't want to. Dates. Uh, good morning, Sam. Good morning, Carol. Is something wrong? No, no. Did, uh, did you take my bank book? Hold on, please. Let me grab this call. Hold on. Don't put me on. Dates. Where? All right. Yeah, I got it. I'll be there. All right. Carol? Later, Bob, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Detective Please, Beach, could there be another serial killer in the Los Angeles area? No comment. Oh, come on, Sam, give me a break. Everybody, when I know, you'll know. Have a nice day. Morning, Belinda. Morning, Sam. It's a great way to start the day, huh? Yeah. Who was that guy? What guy? About six foot expensive suit, curly hair, aqua velvet color. Oh, FBI. And it's Givenchy cologne. FBI? What the hell is the FBI doing here? Don't know, but he had all the right paper. He didn't talk much, he just looked around a lot. You want to check this out before we cut him down? Yeah. We'll bag the internal organs and reconstruct them later. A lot of the blood's on the wall over there. Deets! I checked all the doors and there was no sign of any forcible entry. 
Now, I haven't figured out exactly how it happened yet, but that side of beef on the fence is the end result. Maybe the end. But this is where it started. Have forensics do the roof, that beam, and those windows. You're telling me that he jumped on that beam from those windows? No way. Oh. You see this? You know what this is? You climb up there, you look on those two by sixes, you're gonna find this stuff. It's termite dust, Paulie. I have a thousand dollars damage in my garage in the rafters because of this. The killer probably kicked some off and it was on top of the beam. You really have a taste for this, don't you, Sherlock? It's called observation, Dr. Watson, observation. It's him. I'm sure. Unmistakable signature, slash and strangle. Yes, sir. I'll give you a preliminary report as soon as I can get set up here. OK. Sam, I'm stacked up. Try late tomorrow, early next day. Tomorrow, I need it early. Sam, you wish. Come on, you can do it, Belinda. I know you can. Tomorrow morning, bright and early coffee's on me, huh? You gonna explain to my husband why I gotta work late to make that happen? Give him a kiss and promise him something nice. Oh. Trust me, it works. I've been doing it for years. Years. Morning, Francine. Is that a new dress? It's very stylish. Mm, nice perfume. Sam, your compliments are unimaginative, sexist, and insincere. And you love them. Right. Captain Rivers wants to see you. I gotta call Carol first. Though. He said right now. Not in there. Mr. Atlas is in the weight room. My luck. Captain Atlas, uh, Rivers' office. Hey, Sam. Hey, Captain. Nasty one you got on your hands. Serial, right? Sir, I'm not so sure it is a serial killer. I'm sure. See that, Sam? Agent Kyle Valson, FBI, Fairfax, Virginia office. Valson, Detective Sam Dietz. Pleasure. Sam, the FBI is setting up a task force on this one. You'll head to local investigation, but you cooperate with Valson and anybody else he brings in. I mean, a task force. Uh, what makes everybody so sure it's a serial? We've been tracking this killer across the United States. He has 22 confirmed kills starting in Washington, D.C. Strikes fast and likes to move from east to west. And you just figured that L.A. was next. Sam, you want this case or not? Absolutely, Captain. Then I could presume all of your piddly ass questions have been resolved? Oh, yes, sir. Everything's as clear as L.A.'s there. Good. Now, you two get to know each other. Keep me posted on your progress. Right, thanks. You know, I was hoping that we wouldn't have to go through this local versus federal routine because I really don't have the time. Neither do I. From the neighborhood Bronx? Brooklyn. Oh, South Philly. I was a street cop for seven years. I feel the same way about you, detective. So, you could try to earn my respect, I'll try to earn yours. In the interim, we can still cooperate and catch murder. The neighborhood, did you used to get your nails done in the neighborhood? Every Saturday. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the victim's apartment. You wanna come join me? I'll drive. Only if your nails are done.
What the hell's all this stuff? Cellular phone, fax, laptop, computer with a modem hookup. I'd be careful with that if I were you. The uh, phone numbers are programmed in and can be easily wiped. You got all this high-tech stuff, you still use a call me pager. Will you stop? Look at you, you're like a little kid. I can't believe you gotta touch everything. So, uh, for obvious reasons, you don't mind if I take all the information requests, right? Great, you handle it. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. You ever have lunch with a uh, fork and a knife? Or do you just go sandwich? <laughs> We're even. OK, go ahead. All right. Hey, detective. Tagli is inside. Hey. Where you been? I guess side check, anything? Yeah, not much. Taglia. Alson, FBI. Good to see you, detective. He's only got like a dozen numbers in here. Yeah, so? Pizza places, laundry, insurance companies. No women, no friends. Well, maybe he was an antisocial. Okay, wise guy. Call the numbers, get the addresses, talk to anybody who knew him. Check the bank for the usual. What's with the suit? Don't ask. Where'd he go? What are you doing? He's checking for prescription drugs. I can get a line on doctor. I know the routine. I would like to be the one to initiate. Detective Deeds. Wow. Detective. Just got another 187 call. Uniforms on the scene requested you. Looks like your killer's working overtime. He works fast. And moves around a lot. I heard you before. All right, finish up here. Leave all this stuff on my desk, OK? Well, are you coming? It's your car. I'm right behind you, Detective. Good night, girls. Have fun. Good, good. Nice ass. Shut up, Ralph. I said nice ass. Dealing with the press. Would you like me to take care of it, Detective? No, no, you've done enough already. I'll handle it. Dalson. Yes, sir. Hold on a second. Supervisors, they want a prelim report already. You go on ahead, I'll take care of it. Right. Yes, sir. Seems competent enough. Specializes in serial killers. Actually seems to have an innate hate for them. I, I need to see you. Is it absolutely necessary that we meet? Yes. Where are you staying? Bonaventure Hotel, room 2015. Tonight, 7.30. You insist. I insist. Yeah. Just bag it, Paulie. Bag it all.
Looks like he knocked her through this. Maybe she knocked him through. Time to stop her in. Around noon. Talk to me, Belinda. At this rate, I'm going to have to open up a branch office just for you. We'll have a time of death in particulars tomorrow. Late. A time of death around noon or a little after. How'd you come up with that? There's a broken wooden trellis outside where it looks like the victim was attacked and dragged in here. Of course, it would have had to happen after the rain stopped. Otherwise, the insides of the broken ends would be wet, too. Isn't that right, Sam? Yeah, that's right. Good observation. Did you want to examine the physical evidence from the L.A. victims now? No, I want to go home, relax, go over my notes, and find a direction to this investigation. I have quite a bit of collated data on the previous victims and crime scenes. You're welcome to it, if that'll help. Are you going to let me look at your FBI working files? Why not? Yeah, like you said, why not? Oh, yeah. Do me a favor, my friend. There's some equipment in the front seat. Would you lock it up in the trunk for me? Yes, sir. All right. Have a seat, detective. Are you shitting me? NCIC reports on the victims from the various local departments, killer's trends, psychological analysis of the symbols on the walls. I get the picture. <laughs> of course, you know, uh, I can go over the more pertinent data with you over dinner, which, by the way, is on me. Why are you being so cooperative, Elso? What, are you like my cologne or something? <laughs> you know, the lobster tails in this place are uh, superb. Thanks. But my wife's got her heart set on taking me out to dinner. Your wife? Right, right. Some other time. Yeah. I'll take these home with me and go over later tonight. We can talk in the morning. Whatever. You drove. Detective Sam Dietz, who solved last year's Sunset Killer case, is heading up an investigation into what appears to be a new serial killer in the Southland area. Few details have been provided, but two recent killings in the Los Angeles area seem to fit a pattern that has been occurring in other parts of the country. <laughs> Sorry, Carol. Jeez. But something smells good. Must be your famous casserole, huh? What are you doing here, Sam? Well, you called earlier. I just wanted to see what you wanted. Besides, it's dinner time. You want to feed a hungry cop? You're not supposed to come by without calling first. You know the agreement? All right, so I did. I was in the neighborhood. I decided to drop by. <laughs> well, what if I had someone here with me? What? I don't want you dropping by unannounced. This is my home. I'll visit when I want to visit. This hasn't been your home in quite a while, Sam. Same song, second verse. I'm never here. My home is at the office. It's bullshit, Carol. I'm tired of hearing you sing it. You know, Sam, sometimes when I look in your eyes, what I see really scares me. I'm the same guy I've always been. And that's the problem. Excuse me. I've already told you, Sam. If you don't want to go to a counselor with me, I don't want you back. I know who I am and what I want in a life. I don't need a counselor. Well, Corey does. Sam, he still has nightmares almost every night. Corey will be OK. What about your nightmares, huh? I'm out of here. Yeah! Hey, 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 come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> you hit like a ton of bricks. 
Alex. You're gonna stay, aren't you? No, I got a lot of work to do tonight, okay? I'll pick you up for school tomorrow. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. I love you. Love you too, Daddy. See you tomorrow. Also, Dietz. Yeah, uh, I can't find any reports on the previous victim's relatives in your working file. No, I've been through both boxes. I'm trying to get a feel for the previous victims here. I got nothing. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. We'll cover it tomorrow, right? Okay. What was that regarding? Nothing, really. Have I made myself clear, Agent Belson? Eminently, sir. I think we've given you enough time with no results. These are protected people that he's murdering. He must be stopped. Details, details, details. Investigations do not run like trains on a schedule, Mr. Grzynski. Give me the list, you'll get results. Come on. You know that's impossible. They're still in negotiations. Besides, we've just gotten into bed together. Well, then, can't expect much from a one-night stand, can you? Need more manpower? Money? Whatever you need, we'll make available to you. Maybe I'll talk to the detective. Fill him in myself. That would be a big mistake. I suggest you uh, save your empty threads. Sir. My threads are not so empty. You've got 24 hours. No more. I understand. Here. Hello, night shift. That figures, Valson. You're gonna expedite everything, huh? Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. Uh, let me ask you, can I get into NCIC from this terminal? May I ask why? And is your alias Agent Kyle Balsone, detective? Forget the Fed. I'm the investigating officer. Sam Dietz. Maybe you heard of me, Sunset Killer Case. Yeah, well, look, I need a complete NCIC workup on all the victims, Loki. That's all. But I need it tonight. This request won't even go through our system. I'll have to send it over to the federal building on Wilshire. Then I'll have to contact the real investigating officer. Detectives don't work on schedules. We get a brainstorm, we gotta check it out right away. Now, if you don't wanna help me, ignore me. I won't tell anybody you let me play with your computer. <laughs> hey. Hey, Mr. Motor Skills. Take it easy, man. I'll do it. Why, thank you. Henry. <sighs> Give me about 15 minutes. Please don't stand over my shoulder. Go eat a donut or something. OK, bro. Bro? Einstein, you said 15 minutes an hour ago. There's something wrong with the request. Like what? DOD, the date of death 20 years ago. How could they be dead? They were just murdered. What the hell's going on? There's got to be a glitch in the system. Maybe the requests are being improperly cross-matched. How long is this going to take? I don't know, Dietz. So what you're telling me is I'm not going to get my report tonight, right? Not likely.
Okay, man, that's 25 cents. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, good boy. Morning. Ah, uh, sorry. Eat up, honey. How you doing, pal? Good. You almost ready? Yeah. Hey, eat up. Can I get a cup of coffee? I tried to call you last night, Sam. Where were you? Oh, I took a walk. Oh. Oh, all the way down to the precinct, I bet. Hmm? Look, in spite of what you feel, I do have a duty to perform. Does your duty extend 24 hours a day, Sam? Yes, yeah, sometimes it does, Carol, all right? It's not a job, it's an obligation. Obligation? You have an obligation to us. I'll see you later. Forget the coffee. I'll be in the car, Corey. They stuck me with this FBI agent, and he has a royal pain in the ass. But you probably don't want to hear about that, right? It's just I miss talking with you. I know. Hmm. What's this? Santa Rosa's looking for a new sheriff. They want to go outside the community. I was going to give it to you last night. It's a compromise, Sam. You can still be a cop, and Corey can grow up in a safe environment. Please, for me, us. What do you think about it? I'll think about it. Have a good day, Annie. Bye, Mom. Bye. Buckle up. Hey, Ralph, what do you got? I got two murders, suicide, and a headache. I found that at the crime scene. What, he burn his prints off? No. Doesn't look like scar tissue impressions. Looks like he covered them with something. Yeah, like what? Super glue. FBI lab found some traces of cyanacrylate ester on some of the previous prints. We gotta learn that the hard way. DC police, unfortunately, use super glue fuming on their crime scenes. Oh, I get it. One super glue dissolves another. Exactly. He doesn't need gloves because his prints are unrecognizable anyways. And if forensics uses laser super glue... Even the partial prints dissolve. Oh, he's good. He's very good. <laughs> what do you guys form an admiration society? We're talking about a cold-blooded killer here. <sighs> Javonshi. Fucking FBI. I thought we were working together. That's a good point. How come you didn't mention the super glue? It's in my working file, which you were supposed to have read last night. Yeah, well, I didn't get to all of them. That's right. You were busy circumventing procedure. This is a federal investigation, detective. If you want to continue working on the case, I suggest that if you need any information in the future, that you run it by me first. Otherwise, you're out. I'm out? Uh, no, what, what happened to Sam? It's your investigation. Things change, Paisan. Here are the interviews with the relatives you were looking for. The other files are the NCIC requests you tried to get last night. 30 minutes, squad room. We will be discussing the uh, direction of this investigation.
Morning, Francine. Oh, well, your hair looks so nice. I love that perfume. Is that the track deeds? But did you ever hear an FBI agent giving up his working files for expediting information requests? I understand that this guy, Falstone, is under some pressure to close this case. I mean, he even asked for you to head the local investigation. But he asked for me? Yeah, he did, Sam. He even mentioned you by name. Yeah, but what do we know about him? Well, Falstone is fairly highly placed in the federal community. And he's good, according to his arrest record. Now, will you stop scratching where there's no itch? Sir? Now what? Was there something wrong with our computer system last night? I don't know too much about that stuff, but uh, Francine mentioned something about it this morning, yeah. Now look, I'm gonna finish my run. You get out there and catch us a murderer, huh? The age range of the victims, men and women, is 30 to 35. Most of them had blue-collar occupations, all heterosexual. They kept to themselves very few friends. There's no direct link between any of the victims. The killer seems to be striking completely at random. Well, there isn't a serial killer yet that strikes randomly. Thank you, Detective Dietz. You can ascertain this link here. I'd certainly like to hear about it. Huh. There are packets summarizing all of this and information about the killer's methods. You can pick them up on the way out. Thanks, guys. Uh, what about the police psychologist report? We've had three professionals analyze this killer, and uh, I don't think we'd gain any new insight by talking to another one. But doesn't mean it won't this time. Right, Agent Valson? You know, maybe you should talk to the psychologist. I'd love to. That's why I suggested it. You do that. Meanwhile, I'll be back here this afternoon. Well, that works good, because I'll probably be here later this afternoon. You're really pushing it, Keats. Why is it that we've got to have a pissing contest over a psychologist? I want Dr. Park slain on this, all right? He helped me a lot with the Sunset Killer case. What you really mean is he practically had your whole family murdered. Fuck you. No, fuck you. You keep challenging me on this, and I promise I'll have your ass in the file room going over records from World War II to now. Okay? Hear me? Yeah, I heard you. So? Well, it seems I've been transferred and lost my promotion. Is this because of what happened last night? Now I know why you became a detective. What do you think? And just for your information, I didn't fix the problem because there was no problem to fix. Not with my hardware, there wasn't. What? Hey! Dietz, if you don't get away from me, two things are gonna happen. Your funeral and my trial. Are you telling me there was nothing wrong with the computer? There was a slight problem, but it was so minor. Would it have caused an incorrect match on the victim's profiles? Not in my opinion. Thanks. Hey, I'm sorry about you getting jerked around. Hey, Sam. Sam, up here. Huh? Where are you? Up here. Hey. Come on up. Uh, no, no, I think I'll wait inside. Come on, there's a ladder around back. Yeah, OK, right. All right. This isn't the most comfortable place to talk, you know? That's your fault. You always wanted yesterday, and you knew today was my day off when you called. Why don't you get cable? Ah, television should be free, the way Milton Berle intended it. All right, so tell me something good. Well, to tell you the truth, these symbols have got me a little confused. They're both pseudo-mystical and... Doc, ugly. that's been covered. Blue sky me. I need an angle. All right. Here, hold these. I'd say the guy is either a military man or law enforcement. Law enforcement? What, a cop? Uh, 
Maybe we better go in. A good idea. <clears throat> Just think about it now. He knows super glue fuming and prints and procedure. He's methodical to a fault. No links. Not one mistake in 23 killings. And no one's even close to him. What about the victims? Anything linking them together? Well, they're all dead. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. <clears throat> well, strangulation is the classic representation of an attempt to shut someone or something up for whatever reason that particular someone or something means to the killer. Slash and mutilation could be anything. Maybe he thinks he's releasing his victim spirits. It's hard to say. That's all? For now. If I come up with anything else, I'll call you. All right, thanks. I appreciate the time. Sam, how are things at home? Fine, never better. We're separated. Look, I know you don't want to hear this, Detective Dietz, but you and your family were crime victims, and it's time you came to grips with that. Sam, come talk to me before it eats you up inside. You're starting to sound like Carol. I'll handle it. For me, it's business as usual. One difference. Several months ago, your business bled all over your family life, right? I know, Doc. I said I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Jamaica. Feeling dead, feeling alive, yeah. Maybe we should take a vacation, huh? What do you say, Carol? Caroline Franco, please. Oh, when will she be back? A couple months? Okay. No, fine. No message. Bye. Is this 615-555-2737? Uh, it is. And you sure there's no Stephen Lewis there? Yeah, I, I believe you, lady. Bill there. Uh, do you know when he'll be back? Beginning of next month. Right. He's out of town, huh? Okay. Bye. It is. Um, I'm sure he's not there. Oh, he's in Europe. Good for him. No, no, there's, uh, there's no message. No message. No, no message. Right. This number's been disconnected, and there's no new number. I got you, Valso. I got you. Right from the get-go, I knew something stunk. No reports on the relatives of the victims and his working files, and all of a sudden, Valso gives them to me. But when I call the numbers, nobody's home, no one. Now, Valso claims there's nothing linking the victims together, huh? But there's always something. You know what links the two L.A. victims together? They're both dead. What? Witness protection, sir. The victims were in the federal witness protection program, and I'll bet my ass the killer's another FBI agent. Somebody who had access to a list. Are you insane? When's the last time you had a physical? Sir, it's not that. Look, I know you've been having troubles at home. Everything fits. 
Who uses dead people's identities to make new identities, huh? What? The witness relocation? That's it? Deeds, you gotta get focused on this thing. I know it's hard to believe. It wasn't my first thought either when the victim's names came up on the computers being already dead. That's a computer glitch. Not according to the guy who ran the profiles. I don't know, Sam. I guess I could make a call to Ibsen over the federal building. No, no, you can't do that. I mean, the FBI's not gonna admit they got someone killing people they're sworn to protect. Without Saul's proof of that. You saying this guy is deliberately queer in the investigation? This guy set off my jerk alarm from the first time I met him. Who the hell knows what his agenda is? Sam, even if you're right, I gotta have proof before I can go accusing the feds of this kind of cover-up. Careers could be lost if you're wrong. Sir, I promise you, I will give you proof. But I want you to understand about someone's leading us nowhere. <sighs> Look, don't do anything for a while. Right. Let me make a few phone calls. Okay. And Just give me till tomorrow morning. I will. But don't confront Valson about it, please. And be, you know, cool when you make your inquiries. Sam, I'll be circumspect. You're the one who needs to be cool. Right, sir. I will. I'm going to come up with some paperwork so I kick him right in the ass. Thank you. Productive meeting with Dr. Park? Oh, very. You can't imagine. What are you doing now? I'm going to knock off. If it's all right with you, go home and be with my son. You want to come over for some pizza? I'll pass. Well, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bright and early. Must you bring that dog in here? I've been mugged twice. It's not going to happen again. Mr. Krasinski? Mr. Krasinski? Can I clean the room? Dispatch. Be back up at the hotel on the corner of Fourth and Park, Park Plaza Hotel, and send animal control unit.
Ma'am, please go right now to the lobby. Where'd he go? Sam Dees. Ibsen. Oh, like the playwright. Sit down, Sam. Gentlemen, what we want to do here is iron this out among us before anybody else has to be brought in. So it panned out. I was right. Sam, it didn't pan out. Perry brought us a complete list of everybody in the L.A. basin that's in the witness protection program. None of the names match. Not even close. So what's that prove? Names are just names. I want to see a fingerprint match. It's not necessary. All our witness protection people are still in place. They're all alive. They're all healthy. Besides that, detective, your basic assumption is wholly incorrect. We haven't used deceased people's identities in the witness protection program for years. Too many loose ends. Well, that can't be right. Because two of them are dead. They were murdered. Well, I'm sorry, but it is right. 
As far as Agent Falcone misdirecting the investigation, I reviewed all his procedures and they're all strictly according to the book. Sam, it looks like you seriously jumped the gun on this one. Well, if that's everything, gentlemen, I'll see you at the mayor's party, John. Right, Perry, and thanks. Keep up the good work. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank you, sir. Uh, wait, wait a minute. I want to see that list. It's far too sensitive. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Sam, you don't need to see the list. I've seen the list, and you can take my word for it. No! I'm not taking anybody's word for anything anymore, all right? They're lying. You can't see it? I told you they wouldn't cop to it, and you're playing their goddamn game just like some little political boy. Keats, you're out of line. You don't move out of my way, detective. I'm still very capable of moving you. Come on, Perry. I'll walk you to the car. Better have a talk with your man here, John. Discuss what these unfounded accusations could mean to his career. You idiot. You're gonna sit here and tell the regional director of the goddamn FBI that he's lying about this? You want me to suspend you? Sam, what the hell is wrong with you lately? Sam. Gates! You think this is really going to stop me, huh, Nelson? Don't make it worse on yourself. You're dirty. I know it, and you know it. You're out of control. I'm not done with you yet. Ah! Okay. That's enough. I've tried to work with you. I've given you everything I have. I've even had to put up with your childish behavior and your stupid fucking accusations. Go off before you bury yourself. <laughs> Jesus, Deets! Do it. Nah, it's all right. I'm done. Deets! You're suspended pending disciplinary hearing. Ha, ah, you don't have to bother with that stuff, Captain. Because I don't think I want to be a cop here no more. All right, it's over. Get back to work. Let's go. Yo, Tad, you seen Deets? Why? What is it? Possible victim in a hotel downtown. Wait a minute, I'm going with you.
Agent Valsone. I was thinking that, uh... What was that? Uh, you like one? No, no thanks. This murder is not connected to our case. Whoa, whoa. Memo's not the same. Oh, wait, how can you say that? No symbols on the walls. Let's go, detective. We got a lot to do today. Wrap it up! Pretty wild stuff in those personals, huh? Burn the burger a little longer. Yeah, yeah. Some more coffee? See you later, Toby, honey. Stay sweet. Can I get you anything else? Some apple pie? A muffin? I gotta get over the next set of houses. If we don't catch up, I'm gonna lose this contract. Why don't you get over there and finish the main wall? The inspector's coming. Okay, Ted. your fucking hands, Balsam. Some detective I turned out to be a partner. Oh, but I'm supposed to call before I come over, right? What if I had somebody here? I tried to reach you all day, Sam. I just need my bank book and the deed to the house. On the table. Didn't know you were going to be here. Obviously. Sorry. Hey, that's evidence. No, it's my bank book. That's evidence. <sighs> this isn't my bank book. What did this person do for a living, Sam? She's in real estate. Patrick Vergano was a female real estate agent? No. He was a garage mechanic. OK. Bye. Um, remember 3 o'clock? Sam? What's the matter? Nothing. I cold cocked an FBI agent. I think I've been fired. Sam. What are you going to do? Tell you the truth, Carol. I really don't know. 
It's a good thing you don't schedule airline flights, because your timing sucks. And I'm sorry. Look, I got to pick everything up. But someone wants the working files and the physical evidence back at the precinct. Now, he didn't think it was such a good idea for him to come here. Oh, he was right. Yeah, I see. Be my guest. Hey. Did you check this guy's finances? Yeah, sure. Well, what about these deposits? $1,500 every month. Oh, I don't know. I thought for a while it might be drug money or something like that, but it didn't pan out. The guy pulls down what? What, four twenty five dollars a week after taxes? Yeah, something like that. Maybe less. Well, why the hell did you tell me about this? Jesus, Sam, I checked it, all right? I mean, the guy was only killed the day before yesterday. I haven't had time to follow it off. Falcone's been, been running me around like his personal errand boy. Yeah, I know what that's like, man. I'm sorry. He's leaving, you know. Who? Balsone. He's turning the case over to the local feds. Did he say why? Yeah, he says according to the killer's MO, he probably won't be working this area much longer. He wants to get down to San Diego, get things set up there. Really? It's interesting. The point is, Sam, with jerk off guy and you get your job back. Kiss River's ass a little bit and everything will be fine again. We'll see. What about that? Oh, you got everything. Oh, no, Sam. <laughs> Come on, we take one of those. I think you've taken enough already, Sam. Get that out of sight. Look, why don't you just apologize and take your lumps? Huh? I mean, you're too good a cop to let it end this way. Because it's not over yet, Paulie. It's not over yet. 27, Charles. Taglia. We got a 187 at a construction site, 703 Seaside. Agent Valzon will meet you there. Roger. Well, I guess our killer didn't hear he's supposed to head to San Diego. Um, call me about that later, will you, Paul? Yeah, if I can. Look, think about what I said, all right, Sam? I will. It's dummy. It's the banks. Both have the same banks. Captain Rivers' office. Francine, Dietz. Hi, Sam. I'm sorry to hear about what happened. I need a favor. I need the name of the victim at the latest 187 the tag that you just responded to. It's probably not in yet, and even if it was, I can't. Francine, please. This is very important. I have my apartment. Thanks. I can almost smell that perfume from here. <laughs> Give it a rest, Deeds. Slow down, rookie. He's already dead. Yes, sir. Check out his apartment. It's in Hollywood. I'll meet you there in a few minutes. All right, I'll see you there.
Francie? No, it's me. I just uh, picked Corey up from school, and we're on our way to the counselor. Are you coming? I can't. Why not, Sam? I thought we had a... Uh, look, Carol, uh, let, let me get this call, and we'll talk about this later, huh? Do what you have to do. So will I. Yeah, I'm here, Francine. What do you got? Oh, fuck, Deeds. What are you doing here? I think I found a connection. I just need to lock it up. What the hell are you talking about? Falsona's right behind me. How soon? Two or three minutes. Who knows? Shit. Get the hell out of here, Come on, we're looking for a bank book or a bank statement. The two L.A. victims at the same bank, same branch. What's the odds on that, huh? I don't know, but so what? Come on, look, Paulie. He's a witness protection people. Like I said, maybe the feds are paying around the same bank. That's something I can check and verify. Jesus, Sam. Maybe they did it during World War II. The Nazis paid the spies out of the same bank. I read it somewhere. You read it somewhere? Oh, Jesus, you really are over the yes. edge. Three victims, same bank, same branch. Over the edge, huh? Here's about some. Oh, shit. All right, you watch him. He's dirty, I'm gonna prove it. All right? All right, all right, all right. Go, go, go. Hey! Remember what I said. Get out of here. Anything good? No, nothing yet. Could you open the door? Official business. I showed you mine, you showed me yours. Now open it. Open the door! Are you gonna mail anything? No. Well, then would you stand away from the box while I unload it? Yeah. I wonder if he plays poker. Tribune personal ads. Fairfax FBI, Agent Morris here. Can I help you? Soviet Embassy. What did you say this was? Soviet Embassy. Who do you wish to speak to? No, no, no. Wrong number. Holy teats. Listen, man, can you do me a favor? Uh, 
Pal's own here. You sound pretty clear. This is a nice phone. I'm busy, Deets. What's up? Oh, you're packing, huh? Well, you better look out the window before you go. We gotta talk, Deets. How come you got the Soviet embassy in Washington programmed into your phone? I get invited to a lot of social functions. <laughs> and guess what I got in my hand? Your disconnected brain. Actually, it's your balls. Can you feel me squeezing them? Get therapy, Dietz. All three victims had the same bank, same branch. So? So that's a correlation even Captain Rivers can't ignore. And these envelopes are going to prove it. They're addressed to FBI headquarters, the L.A. Tribune, and the police commissioner, and my mother. You know, we're a lot alike, you and I, even though you don't see it. If I just shoot me, these drop. National Security Agency? That's right. I'm a big government spook. And you, my friend, are going to rebuild the Berlin Wall all by yourself if you drop those in. You're a real work of art. You know that, Don Son? Let's discuss this in my room. I'm not moving till I hear something that makes some sense. You know, you are so convinced that I'm the bad guy in all of this that you wouldn't know the truth even if it smacked you across the face. Try me. Why? There's three phases to Glasnost. Reduction in tactical weapons, standing army, and all covert operations. And you could stockpile nuclear warheads. Where do spies go when nobody needs them anymore? Missiles and soldiers and spies, oh my. Now you want to listen to the truth, or do you want to be a wise ass? This is much more important than some insignificant murders. This is not about witness protection, you simpleton. The killer is Spetsnaz, Soviet Special Forces. His job was to come here and bring back Soviet spies who don't want to come in from the cold. The problem is he's taken out the entire network, even the ones that agree with Glasnost. <sighs> My mission is to help the Soviets bring him in. Mutilations, symbols, I can't buy that. Why, because you may be wrong, or because it's coming from me? Which is it, detective? Huh? Who else knows about this? The FBI provides a domestic cut-up, but nobody's got all the pieces. Yeah, but Captain Rivers, he's gonna be briefed on his Soviet stuff. He's on a need-to-know basis only. Hey, believe me, he needs to know. I want my job back. Deal? Deal. We'll take your car. Oh, I love it when you drive. May I see the information? Thanks. These are blank pages. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh! Ah! All right, hold it right there, asshole. Don't move. All right, step away from him. Real slow. Sleeping Beauty awakes. <laughs> That's for the men's room. Oh. <laughs> That's for not listening when I told you to back off. You're way out of your pay grade, Dietz. 
colonel is doing us all a favor. He's expanding his mission, taking out every Soviet sleeper they have here. He likes it. So do I. This is your basic counterinsurgents move. When the bad guys are beating themselves, you don't interfere. You lied all the way down the line, didn't you, Valsol? Ah, just changed a few things, that's all. The symbols were messages to you guys. In blood. Just to confuse the investigation. If it looks like a serial killer, it must be a serial killer. It's called hide in plain sight, Dietz. Why didn't you kill him yourself, Valsol? You probably would have enjoyed it. I do what the missions call for. And the main mission here is to not let these communist assholes sell us down the river with this glass-nosed bullshit. You spend time in the jungle, Dietz, you learn that a leopard can't change its spots. I'm sick to death of accountants making policy. Ivan's everybody's new buddy, right? Bullshit. He eats guys like you for lunch. You're a sick fuck. I'm a pro. And a pro would have popped you with a silenced weapon. Pop! No muss, no fuss. The colonel's got a set pattern, and I don't want to blow his cover. He's a sick fuck, too. He's spetsnaz. All forebrain, no emotion. He's just following orders like the rest of the people in this fucked up world. Ah, oh, anyway, Dietz. Here's a thought you could take with you. You did your duty. And that's a hard thing these days. I know. This person lives, and this person dies. Or this person lives, and this person dies. Who makes those choices, detective? Him? You? Me? Yesterday's hero should not become tomorrow's traitor simply because of some change in ideology. Can't just let you walk out of here, man.
Hello. It's me. It's a little late now, Sam. Let's talk tomorrow. Don't hang up, Carol. Oh, I was at the hospital. I got shot. What? Are you all right? Why didn't they call me? Oh, I told them not to call you. I'm okay. Corey and I will be right over, Sam. You want to get that call? No, they can wait. Listen, Carol, I've been thinking. You know, I've been a, uh... I'll tell you what, let's talk when you get here, huh? We'll talk about everything. Okay, I'll be right there, Sam. Uh, make that sheriff, sure Sam. I love you too, baby.